Hey, welcome back. So I am still working from home, um, but this week it's only for three days. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I am at home. Tuesday and Thursday, I'm at work. I like being able to uh, just get out of my apartment. Right now, I'm only leaving uh, to get necessities, so I really haven't been leaving. <laughs> Although today I did go out and I had the back tire on my bike fixed. And just going into town, it's a bit of a ghost town. Um, there aren't many people out and about. The ones that I did see were usually students, so young kids who still had to go to their private academies and they were carrying their textbooks and they did not look happy. <laughs> um, on the weekend I also, actually on Monday, Monday it was, so on Monday I also went out because I'm getting my armpits lasered because I'm tired of shaving and because here in Korea it's pretty cheap. So I'll make a video about that one later, but that might be five months from now when I finish all of my sessions so we can see if it actually worked. Um, so yeah, I haven't really been leaving other than work and my bike. Um, but I have been hearing from my friends and family uh, around the world about what's happening there and it's Wow, it's scary. I mean, in Korea, there was a partial lockdown, but that was in Daegu, and that's because there was a big outbreak there. Uh, you'll know because that's where most of the numbers from South Korea come from, one city. And um, in my area, we've had 31 people diagnosed with coronavirus which is relatively small considering the size of this province. Um, and other than that, life has just gone on. I mean, we've been taking precautions, we've been working from home where we can, students haven't been to school to prevent the spread there. There's the mask, you're still lining up to go get your mask. And I still haven't been in to get one yet, but some other teachers told me that you take in your ARC card, so that's your alien residency card, and they use your security number on there so you, that's everybody's given a social security number and that's pretty much it on your ARC card so they just type that into the computer and then they give you one so it's an easy system I don't know how much they cost though but I think they are not too expensive anymore like I was saying before my friends and family they're telling me about things that are happening like Tonight at midnight, Australia and New Zealand are going on lockdown. So Australia will be on level two, and that means that things like uh, beauty salons, nail salons, um, gyms, uh, recreation, amusement parks, that will all be shut down. So they won't be open. Uh, but other places like uh, supermarkets and um, oh, oh food courts food courts at shopping centers they'll stay open that one surprised me but it is limited to takeaway only oh, I'm hungry now oh anyway um, so they'll be limited to takeaway only and yeah yeah so if you're about to get married and you want to get married on a budget but you're worried because you're like oh I've got all these people that I have to invite my friends want to come and oh, it's gonna be so expensive well guess what you don't need to do that now only five people allowed and that's basically you your partner the two witnesses and the person marrying you no one else cheap wedding anybody else that wants to be there live stream it just live stream it and that way you save a lot of money um, oh same with funerals sadly um, in Australia they're limiting that to a maximum of 10 people so that will probably include social distancing um, as well so you guys will be apart from each other so yeah um, boot camps personal training all of that stuff but 
the weird thing is that schools are going to stay open so I don't know maybe maybe the idea is that because it seems to be affecting the elderly more than younger people that sending your kids to school will be fine but a lot of kids have grandparents uh, they're gonna see their grandparents so yeah I, I don't really get the logic of that for some states um, they're saying that the schools are open but it's at the parents discretion if they want to send their kids to or from um, school or not so that's one thing at least um, if that were in South Korea there would be a problem because if some people kept their children home then they would see the other kids as having an unfair advantage of education so when it came to testing season they would say that's not my child will be behind in the exams and it's all the government's fault yeah hmm. so yeah there is that issue and then you've got like Britain where um, people are being advised to stay home and the police have the power to issue fines and break up gatherings exercise shopping medical work so if you have to work you can't avoid um, leaving the home for work that's the only other reason um, and then you've got France uh, where you get fined if you go too far from your home so you have to have a special permission to go somewhere um, and my friend was telling me that in Canada as well when you get on the bus you're going in the back door so you don't get the driver seat and she also said that when you go shopping at the supermarket they are encouraging you to use your card and not to pay with cash because money is dirty and it holds on to things but with the card they have wipes so you can clean your card before you use it and then when you finish a transaction as well yeah yeah that's it makes sense but yeah yeah it makes sense um, New Zealand as of midnight tonight everybody got a, um, a notification on their phone saying that they should stay home and they should treat the issue as if they already have the virus and to help prevent other people getting sick and they expect that to last for a few weeks and um, the thing about that one is that wherever you are tonight so tonight is March 25th, wherever you are tonight, that is where you're going to be staying for the duration of the lockdown. So you don't want to go tippy hide in. And they also don't want you socializing with friends or family outside of the home. Um, so there's still video calling though. I mean, I'm still in touch with my family this way. And then you have India. So India instituted a full country lockdown and it's just empty and um, people I don't know how that's going to last because I thought it was really cool that that everybody did it and then my sister said to me how are they going to deal with that in the slums because when it comes to hygiene and everything else there's a lot of shared um, systems and there's a large population in there so Ooh, that would be scary if the virus got in there but India so far they've managed to keep the numbers down really low and um, I don't know how they did that or how they've managed it so far uh, but my sister said it's probably in whatever they're eating so if you can handle it maybe you should go out and make a curry tonight some sort of curry here in Korea life life has just gone on uh, people adapted to the situation really quickly uh, I mean I still the security guy or the maintenance guy uh, when I went to take my bike to get fixed today he was going around and he had a sprayer on his back and he was disinfecting all of the um, entryways uh, to the buildings I mean I don't touch the doors anyway because I can push them with my elbow so I try not to touch any of the steel or plastic service surfaces where I can 
um, in public areas and I will use my elbows to push them open <laughs> and close. Um, if I do have to touch them, I have some sanitizer and wipes in my bag so I'll wipe my hands off afterwards as well. It just amazes me the um, what's going on in the world and everything with the coronavirus, everything seemed to happen so calmly in Korea, other than the beginning when um, the citizens were blaming the president saying he wasn't doing enough and they were um, petitioning for him to be impeached. But now, I guess after they've seen how it's been rolling out in the rest of the world, they're like, yeah, we're in a pretty good position. I don't know if they'll apologize or if they'll say sorry to him, but right now they're like, mm, this is okay. Yeah, pat yourself on the back, Korea, we're doing well. Okay, so yeah, shout out to all the other school teachers out there trying to make sure their kids get on top of everything, whether you are a primary school teacher, a homeschooler, middle school, high school, university, whatever level you are at, Good on you for still working hard and doing your best for your students and I will catch you next time. Bye!